Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be playing a new game by Neonesk. We always look forward to playing Neonesk's games. Though. They've been really cool so far. Um, this one is a Slime's Test for Intelligence. Let's give it a go. The year is 20XX. And wait, this is a puzzle game. <laughs> Chapter 1. Slime Chance... Oh, I see. Slim Chance of Success. Slime Chance of Success. Nice. Learning to Flop. So I have seen that this game has very cool animations for a puzzle script game. <laughs> like very smooth animations. Okay, so I'm collecting these yellow things. The door did do something though, didn't it? I guess like maybe it animates slightly every time you pick one up. Okay. Out of reach. So I can stretch up and I can like move over to the side after I've stretched up. Ooh, I can stretch down. <laughs> it's not, I guess that's not stretching, is it? Uh, Squishing, okay, I'm gonna want that box. That's the box, yep. I wanna grab that. I wanna push the box in the hole, and then do that. Got it. What was that, pancake technique? Oh, okay. This is where I'm squishing down. <laughs> Hence, pancake technique. Um, what do I wanna do here? I guess I'm gonna to need to take a box up. How do I take a box up? Does it come with me? Oh, it does, okay. And then how do I get out? Ah, okay, so if I squish back down, I can come back out from underneath and I can slide under them. Uh, so to get up there, I'm gonna need both boxes, bring you back over, bring you to the left. Easy, elevated. Okay, so bring that over. Uh, I guess push it down, climb up. Okay, that was, that was quite simple. Stored away. Uh, there's a thing up there. What are those things? There's a thing up there. I'm gonna want the other box. How do I get you? So I want to bring the other box in first, somehow like this. Go underneath this one, push that to the left, push this one to the left. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, do I need to bring that box back? Well, let's find out. Let's climb up to this. No, okay. After this. Oh, to be clear, I guess it's not always clear like what the mechanics are from just watching a video like this. So. This is my normal state. If I press up, I stretch. If I press up again, nothing happens. That's as far as you can stretch. From my normal state, I can go right and left. From my stretch state, I can also go right and left. And I kind of like go into the space next to where I stretched up to. And I'm back into my normal state. And then my squish state, I can go right or left, but you unsquish when you do that. So, you, so that like immediately lifts up the box. That's not me like manually lifting that box. It's just me going underneath it in the squish state. Hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit or just hanging? I, I like, I'm just instinctively going to get this box because I think I'm gonna need both of them. Well, how is this ever gonna come out? Because being squished doesn't drag it with me. Hmm. I don't think I can take that out. Is this possible with just this, maybe? Uh, like this? Yes, okay. Oh, but then this is stuck. Uh, so I do need to do something like that. I need that box to get through here. Oh, so I use that box to get through here. Just move this out of the way. Oh, that's gonna be stuck now, isn't it? I can't get through there. So that was bad. Uh, so maybe I just climb on this and... Uh, 
I guess all I'm thinking is that I can like open up this passage and then put this over here. It doesn't matter if this gets stuck then. Now I'm gonna like get the door blocked. Oh, but I can move it away from the door. This is fine, this is fine. Okay, so I bring this up. Push it down, do this. Get it away from the door, push it down, grab that. Okay, I just had to open up the passage. Entrenched. Hmm. So. Thing is up there. I want the two blocks here. Climb up on top, and then I need to push them both back down. So right now they're on top of each other. I guess I can probably knock them off each other like this. Yeah. Oh, but then that's stuck in there. <laughs> that's not a bad, that's not a good place for it to be. Um, I could separate them over here. And then how do I avoid losing one? By having you on my head, yes. Can I bring this over? There's like not enough space, is there? But okay, I can put that there, grab that one from here. Then can I push them both down? I think I want to get this from underneath. Um, there we go. There we go. Graceful. Lots of puns in these titles. Hmm. So to get that, I need at least two, like here. And I guess another one is a step. So how do I avoid... I guess I have to take them over each other? Maybe I need to like, ooh, yes, like this. Oh, then how am I going back to get the others? If I just, if I like left one to fall in this hole, I would not then be able to climb up here, right? No. So they have to avoid going in that hole. Oh, do I want to put them all on top of each other? I want to make a stack. Take them all down together. Can I then separate? Hmm. Yes, like this. Neat. Great puzzle design. Not not that one down. Climb up with just this one, and that's enough. Yay! A great idea. Not a staircase. Did it say a great idea, or did it say a great idea? Maybe. Not a staircase. Oh, what's this? Oh. So something I can climb into. Curious. You can come up with your own metaphor for that. <laughs> okay. So that allows me to get higher up. I need to get to this. Also, I need to bring that down clearly so that I can get to this box. That's the only way that's happening. I can't reach that from here, but I could if I just brought these over and could somehow get on top of them. But I can't. I can here. And then I need to take one up with me. Or both of them up with me. No, one of them up with me. So just like knock one down, take the other one with me, Oop. lift it up, go there, ta-da, ventilation. Okay, this is the ventilation for the space that I'm in. So wait, why does that exist? I guess the stop blocks moving between these areas. There's also the, hmm, wait, so if I put this down there, go out the top one. Yeah, I was wondering, how does it behave when I go sideways out of this thing? I just drop out of it. Okay, so this is probably a case of positioning you somewhere, like, uh, why can't I go underneath you? Oh, because I would lift you up, interesting, okay. So I want you there, and you there. And get that and bring this over. Oh, mm, yes, like this. Neat. Trap door. These puzzle puzzles feel so great. There's such a nice feeling mechanic as well. It helps that the animations are so smooth. Um, okay, 
What do I want to do? What was it called? Well, I guess I want to get up there. It's always nice when a puzzle has like an area that you just can't get to and there's stuff in there so you need to get there and therefore you kind of got like a smaller puzzle to begin with. <laughs> I surely have to do that. I guess I don't want to... Ooh. Okay, I can drop that like, like that. Do this. Then I need to bring you down with me, which I can do quite easily, and we're done. <laughs> Very snappy puzzles. Skylight. <clears throat> so I have a way of climbing up like that. That's fun. Uh, so I just want the two boxes to be on the left. I just want them to be on the left. I may need to do something. Can I? Oh, 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 oh. If I move you over and then get onto view, can I go like left? I can. Okay. These are not going to get stacked on top of each other though. Uh, unless. This is a bad idea. Get there. I kind of want to be on this side and push this left so it stacks on top of the other one. Why do I want that? I don't want that, do I? Because I still wouldn't be able to push them to the left. Um, how do I push them to the left here? How do I get them? Well, I guess more importantly, how do I stack them on top of each other here? I can't bring them both on my head because there's not enough space, there's not enough height. So how can that work? It's clearly all this space for a reason. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How how does it actually work when they're stacked on top of each other? Um, if I can even find out. So when I'm squished down, I can't go into the blue thing. In case that's not clear. Is there any other way this is going to work? They have to both be on there, on, over there on the left, right? So, so I can land on them and then stretch it up and go into the door. Am I going to have to ooh, go like round here for some reason? I could have got here anyway, right? Hmm. Okay. Need to think about this better. This is the one that's this is the first one that's not been so intuitive, so I can't just push through it like I have been doing. How do you get two stacked on top of each other? And what are the rules when they're stacked? If I push the bottom one, the bottom one just moves out, right? No, no, they move together. Do I know for certain yet? Have I actually done it? I know I've made stacks, but I've always put them on my head. If I have a head. Do I have a head? Oh, well, okay, so this would let them stack, okay. Okay, no, they do move together. I probably have seen that. <laughs> and just forgot that's how it works. Cement mixer. Um, so we want to get to you, so we need both of the things, and then that's everything. Once I've got to the yellow thing, the lightning bolt, 3D lightning bolt, um, I could just come back to the door. There's no issue there. 
So this is just a case of getting these over that. I bet I'm not supposed to be doing them together. In fact, this feels bad. Yeah, because if they weren't together, I could now lift up. Okay, so separate them. Uh, okay, lift up, bring to the right. Uh, how do I drop it? Maybe I use you to push it over. Then how's the next one coming? There we go, perfect. <laughs> Hmm. How's the second one going to get over? Because now I don't have another block to help me move the second one. If I go on top, it comes with me. If I drop down, it comes with me. If I go into this, it comes with me. If I'm squished, I can't move it out to the left, I can move out to the right. But I'm stuck. Hmm. There's something else to this. Like perhaps from this point. Yeah, if they were both stuck on top of each other, I would not be able to go any further. Can I stack on top of each other here? Yes. There we go. There we go. Some of its parts. Oh, some of it. Nice. <laughs> Is this going to be more than the sum of its parts? Somehow? So I want to get up there. In theory, I can do that. Well, yeah, ultimately I need all three of them to be stacked here, right? Like, that's the only way that's going to work. Okay, how to do that? This looks complicated. There's one up there. I could push that to the right again if I had one on there. Maybe I want that. Do I want that? Let's say yes. Although, can I do that? Is another question. Hmm. This is not going well. I don't want one to be stuck down there because I can't get under it because I can't squish while I'm in the blue thing. So I need some way to push that down, right? Like. Gotta be story one up there to get the other two in position. Is that necessarily true? Could I be story two up there? Oh, oh, that gets one there. Okay, <laughs> did that completely by accident. But yeah, that gets one there and I can get this one. Interesting. And then I put this one here, uh, go out that side. Use this to knock that down and then it, I'm guessing I can now get this on top. I can. Yay. <laughs> uh, push these two. I guess I can now disassemble these. And then do this. Uh, I need them both stacked. Okay, so put one on top again. And then do the same thing like this. And then use that one to push that one down as well. And we're done. Very neat. Chapter three, rising power. Strange energy. Okay, what do you do? Oh, floaty block, okay. Interesting. Meteoric, so if I put the thing, oh, okay, so it starts off floating and if I land on it, it stops being floaty. Now it's floaty. I can lift it up and I can take it that way. Yes, if I unsquish. Very cool. Those mechanics work well together. Nice. Okay, now I've landed on top of it, but I need it to float. Okay. Very neat. So satisfying. <laughs> it's 
Stairborn. <clears throat> We've got one floaty one, one non floaty one. I want to go up here, so I want a floaty one there. Like that, the non floaty one. Can I? Yes, I can make that non floaty like that. I don't mind if it's floaty now. Uh, do I need them both right now? Yeah, I am going to need both of them, yes. Uh, ooh. I can't flatten that down like that. You go there. Oh gosh, no, you're too high up. Could I have done something better to just like smush that down to the ground? I mean, it's already on the ground. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Okay, so lowering it down onto the thing also. Yeah, I guess it's just touching the energy thing. Makes it become floaty. All right, there we go. Neat mechanic. Portable. Okay, we've got floatiness and blueiness. Well, I have to do this. Hmm. Then what? I can't interact. Oh, I can push it around. Okay, can I lift it up? I can lift it up. It is portable. Do I want to take it down or do I want to like lift you up from here? I could believe that, but that's too high up. So probably not. I can also do that. Do I want to do that? I can also use you to climb up on top of you as well. No. Yeah, I can. Do you float? You don't float. So I want the other one with me. So maybe I do just swap these over. That would make sense, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe I take it like all the way over here. You touch that. Now you go up. Oh, sh sh sure. No. Okay, you go that way. Go that way again. Go again. I'm going to use you to push that. Why am I doing this? Why am I pushing that? What's my goal here? I don't want the box to hit the lightning bolt. I want to go hit the lightning bolt. I guess I'm going up there. Oh gosh. How am I getting up there? Oh, just by having this one to the left. Okay, so don't lift it up, just do that. Okay. Oh, of course. What? <laughs> How's this going to be doable? Hmm. Are you suggesting I'm climbing up on the other side? Wait, where would that have to be for that to work? Like, I sadly can't land on this to unfloatify it. Okay, so to reach that thing, there has to be one up in that row that it's currently in. Oh yeah, I guess if I had the, the, the energy thing with me, I'd be able to climb up. No, I wouldn't. No, I would not. Hmm. How is this going to work? Is there some way I could like... Well, I can't push this down. It's never going to go down, is it? Unless I somehow can land on it. I can't make that one that's up there non-floaty because I'd have to land on it from the top. And there is no space to do that, so I have to be approaching it from the left. This thing always falls. So there's at best that's gonna be like on the ground here somewhere. This thing can be floaty, but the only height I could get from a thing on the ground is like one space further up. That's not enough to get to the lightning bolt. What are you telling me, game? What are you telling me?
if um, if I had things like floating along here, is there some way I could do like a no, I would fall. I would fall no matter what I do. I'm only too long. It's not like I can hang on to something and push it at the same time. This is not snake bird. This is not snake bird. This is slime bird. Okay, how on earth? Oh wait, that oh that didn't start off energized. Ah, okay. That is not something I noticed. When did that become energized? When I touched it with the other platform? Or did I touch it with the thing on the way over? I did. Why did I do that? I do not know. <laughs> but I did, and then I forgot. <laughs> okay, that changes things. Uh, you go up. And we use this to push it over. We could use this to climb up. That changes things a lot. Uh, it's not over yet, but it will be soon. Um, mm -hmm. Nope. 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 Some of the frictiony things are a little unintrusive. Like that's always the case. Like I've been playing lots of games with hats in them recently. Um, and often like this hat friction, like thick blocks stick to your head. Okay, so that needs to become non-floaty. Could I have just done it earlier like this? Uh, well, the point getting up there and not grabbing that, can I do it now? Mm, but the problem is that happens. Can I get on here and squish down and go into there? No. Mm, no, you're stuck up there, which is no good. I can bring you over. I can bring you over again. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. I have to grab that. I was going to say I could push this over to land on it, but no, I can't. How do I... Oh, let's push it to the right like this, and then maybe do that again. Okay, that feels good. Then I can climb over the top of it and push it back. There we go. Uh, almost make it non-floaty. Uh, no, it needs to be floaty. It needs to be floaty. I keep thinking like, oh, I'll be able to stretch over a gap like this, but no, that's not how that works. This is not snake boat. So it does need to be floaty still. So it needs to go down and be floaty. What? How? I can't move them down without unfloatifying them. So I have to bring you back? That's not gonna happen. Uh, maybe it is, yeah, because I only need one block over here. Okay, ah, interesting. Um, so I'm accidentally taking both of them. That's fine, that's not fine. Okay, it's not fine at all. <laughs> uh, drop you, take ju uh, just one of them. There we go. And we'll swap you for you again. Make you floaty, and we'll, put, we'll not lift you up anymore. That, you're in the right place. You're going to be my platform. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, no, don't ever lift it up, because it's going to stay there. Ah, stop lifting it up. <laughs> okay, at this point, I can't go under that to do anything good. So maybe let's bring them, let's swap them over. Yeah. Okay, you you stay here. I can come and get you in a minute. You come over here. Bring you over. Touch that on there. Now this can go here. This can go here. I can climb out. I can hopefully get this back. I can. And we're through. I don't know if I overcomplicated that. <laughs> um, I think, I think not. I don't know. Um, 
step by step. Hmm. So the things up there. We can climb up there. This is here. This obviously needs to move at some point. So at some point I'm going to be doing this. And I guess it's going to be right now. Why would it not be right now? I assume then there's lots of space up here. So this is probably for storage. I probably want to push. So I want to climb up there. And I guess the way I'm getting up there is this way. And if there were a thing on this platform that I'm on right now, I could then get on top of that and go to the right. So I want to float this box over to it, maybe. It's floating. But then that's stuck there. Okay. Can I just push that myself? There we go. There we go. Go there, climb up, get that. Is getting back simple or not? There's got to be a floating platform next to it. I don't know if I'm going to send that any further left. No. So I probably want to drop you. Can I drop you? How do I drop you? I need to fall onto you. Hmm. Oh, I can grab you like that. Uh, let's not lift you up too high. Let's also not do that. Can I? No, I can't get out of here without dropping that there. That's also not it then. I guess I can push you further over, but is that bad? That is what I just did. Oh, I can bring you by yourself. But then you're too high up. If I brought this, nudged you over, there we go, this feels good. You go there so you're still accessible. Oh, no, don't lift you up. I'm through. <laughs> Diving board, three, six. They're so snappy that sometimes the end happens just like so suddenly and I wasn't even like prepared for an ending. Uh, it just like suddenly happens. <laughs> What was this called? I've forgotten. A diving board, maybe? Um, hmm. So here I want to get... Okay. <laughs> Wait, I've lost focus. There we go. Um, here I want to get to that lightning bolt. Climbing over here is easy, but then I can't get back out. So I need a platform to catch me, I guess. This is the diving board, and that's the swimming pool when it's empty. To fill the swimming pool with a platform to land on, which is easy enough, but there's clearly gonna be more problems than that. Hmm. Sure, it's a platform to land on, but it's gonna sink into the pool. Okay, that's interesting. So somehow after sinking, which is gonna happen, like we're gonna end up at least this far down. Well, yes, at least this far down. Obviously the other thing could not be there. And I need a way out. I also need to be able to get into the door at the end. Is it possible I'm not diving? Uh, no, it's not possible that I'm not diving. I have to be diving. Because... Otherwise I'd have to have something to the left of me also floating, and I can't have two things floating here because I've only got one floaty thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm diving, and we're falling that far. What's my way out of here, other than this, obviously? It's be able to get out of here with that box. How can that happen? How can that happen? We're going to be so far down. 
So that most we have like one thing to stand on top of. So then there's me. I can stretch up to lift the box up to that position, but I'm not gonna be able to take it to the right. Huh. Is there some way of avoiding sinking down there? Oh, I guess if, if that's lifted up so that I don't actually fall onto it, so I just move onto it, is that doable? That doesn't feel doable. It does not feel doable. I can get it there. It's still going to sink. And if it were stuck up there, I guess I could have the energy thing around still to like climb on to get through the door. I cannot get it higher up. It's never going to happen. How would I lift it? I wouldn't. Okay, this one's mysterious. Starts off like this. Don't want to take this over the top. Interesting, as this falls though, it would become like, I almost want to just do that. I don't think I can do that though. Like I have an interesting idea here where I push this over the top without making it floaty. And I push that off the top and it lands here with this here and it's like stops falling should be pretty fun but i don't see how it would help me because i just have to go after it and it would sink and I, or i could come this way and not reach the thing oh wait hold on mm, no there's no arrangement of these two things that would work because this has to be on dry land like here so then the other thing would have to be like here and I can't step up onto that. This can't be floating out. This cannot go in there. It has to be lifted up and pushed from the left. There's also no way I'm getting out of that hole with a box. Because I'd have to be standing on top of two things to get out. Okay, so I'm not falling down the hole. I know that for certain. How is the... Okay. Then, okay, so when I collect the lightning bolt, if I'm falling afterwards, I I can't be because I'm going to fall down the hole or I'm landing on this and it's going to drop. Drop and stop. Ooh, yes. Okay, that's I'm combining the two thoughts I had. Combining the two thoughts. I need to make you like this and then swap these two over if I can. Can, can I? Mm, don't drop you down there. Maybe I just do all this stuff over here. Okay. You're going to go one up to there. This is then going to go here. I'm going to land on it. It's going to stop being floaty, but then become floaty again. That's a fantastic puzzle. Genius. Carpool. Um, okay, <clears throat> got to get up to that lightning bolt. It's one away. Floaty block. Uh, 
Okay, how am I lifting up anything anyway? I guess if the block were floating here, that would also be enough to get the lightning bolt. Can I do that? Here? No. What can I achieve here? I can get you floaty, I can put you here. That's as high as I can climb up. Which is just another way onto there. What else could I even do? Push you further up there and never got on top of you. Except I would if I... went around the blue thing. Ah, lift the thing up on top of that. That makes sense, that's cool. Okay, so I do the, uh, how do I get you on top of that? Do I have to have done it when you're lower down? So don't lift you up yet. Lift you up, put you on top of there, lift these up together. Bring it over like that, and climb on top, get that. I'm definitely making progress. Then, I've got to get something there and climb on top of it, but it's going to be in the way of climbing on top of it. So, instead, what do I need? Also, this pit is here so that I can't do this. Oh, well, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do that because the thing catches it. So. So. How's this ending working? Something needs to go there. What's it going to be? Can't be you, because I'd have to push you off something. It'd have to be the floating block, but then how would I push that? Because I wouldn't be able to get into that space. So, instead, it's going to be the floating block. But how am I going to push the floating block to the left? I can't do anything with this from down here at the moment. So I'm, I have to be doing this. Probably I'm dropping this. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm, no, I think I'm dropping it. Actually, am I? Maybe. How does the ending of this look? Like if the, if the, the energy thing were on top, I still would not be able to do this. I can lift you up further, but I can't push you to the left. I can't stretch up enough to push you to the left. I never would be able to. That's the same with both of the things. If that were on, if the energy ball were on top of the floaty block. Oh, I could, yeah, I could go underneath it. Yeah, that is what I want. Okay. Just not seeing the squish underneath it move. So I'm just doing the same thing basically. Uh, but I don't want to lift you up so far. Okay, so, but I have to lift you up. So I need to bring you back down. Ah, maybe I do that on this side. Uh, sure. Then I can put you on top. Lift these both up. Uh, squish underneath. There we go. Magical. Skyward slime. Like Skyward sword. Maybe. Hmm. Two floaty blocks. Two floaty blocks. Lightning bolt up there. I, they're both going to have to be here, right? 
How else am I crossing that gap? Yes, they are both going to have to be there. So what's the problem if I just do that? One is not going to be high enough, so I use the other one to help. Okay, so first I want one that's like here. It doesn't go any higher. So let's like get you out of the way. Then we want you who can go like here. Then you can come here. We go under this, climb up, push you up. Oh, push you up and we switch back down. Then you go there. Oh. Hmm. No, I want them both to be higher up. What? How can that happen? Well, that's not helping. I want both to be higher up, but I can't stand at that height for both of them. <laughs> Only one of them. So... What's the trick that I need? Can I stop it from falling? No, this would have to be like floating somewhere. Uh, if I use what, if I stand on top of one of them and use this, does it help? Nope. By the way, there's still a block down at the bottom that needs to go higher. Um, hmm. If I do anything from here, do anything from up here, like earlier on. Like if these two were swapped over, which they could be, I'd be able to go to the left, but then not be able to go any further to the left. So yeah, either way, they both need to go higher. Unless, no, I was gonna say unless like the energy balls on top of one of them. But I couldn't lift them this high if I didn't have the energy ball down there. Oh, but then it won't fall. Well, does it fall? I actually don't know how that works. Okay, so if I do that, and then try and get this to, to drop down. Uh, I can probably do that here somehow. Mm. Can I take you through? Not really, can I? Push you over, push you over, push you over. What's my plan? My plan is to like drop on this. Oh, I just dropped on it from above, okay. Okay, now put this on top of you. Oh, no. On top of you. Then do this. Uh, oh, I'll try and leave you there. What happens if I fall on you? Nothing. Okay. There we go. Very cool. Now I guess I want to drop them back down. Oh, interesting. I can't break it away from this. However, I can move this to the side, and then I'll be able to drop them. Will they both drop or neither of them? Both of them, okay. Uh, so I need them both to be up, one to be there, need the other one to be there, and then this goes next to it, and we have a staircase and we can go through. Congratulations, you beat every level. Fantastic, that was such a good game. <laughs> There's a reason I always look forward to neon Esks games. They're always that cool. Um, so yeah, I would check out neon Esks itch.io page. A uh, bunch of cool games on there. Um, yeah, just super well-designed puzzles and the mechanics are always, always feel so good <laughs> for whatever reason. Like the only thing that was slightly not feeling good here was the thing I mentioned earlier about the friction. Um, but it was never that, like, there are other games where you've got so many things stacked in your head and all the friction is happening at the same time. Yeah, and it just becomes a nightmare. <laughs> in this case, like, at least the 
at least the most, <laughs> at least the most that you have in your head is um, like two blocks, I think, or three, I guess, at one point, yeah. Um, but you ne it's never expecting you to do anything weird with three things stacked in your head, really. You just like take them somewhere, you just put them down. That's really nice. Um, it's, yeah, it's like avoiding the things that could be kind of weird and awkward with that kind of friction mechanic. Anyway, super cool. Um, that was fun. It was nice to play a nice short game with uh, such like snappy puzzles. Uh, and I don't know what I'm playing next. So see you for the next game. Goodbye.